Yo, what's up YouTube? Be back with another video. And I ain't even gonna hold you. I did not want to play this game. Like, I dead ass. I got into the game. I loaded up the tutorial. And I was seeing this shit looks kind of similar to Five Nights at Freddy's at first. I'm still not sure right now. That's why I came back to it. So, be going to load up the tutorial. See what they really talking about. I ain't even finished it all the way. I was just like, fuck all this. I ain't even. I was going to find another game. Fuck it. He's going to. We're going to see what the game about. We're going to give it a chance. Okay, welcome to the interactive I don't fuck with none of that Five Nights at Freddy's shit, bro. That shit is way I too, it was not for me. It's too scary for me. Simple, <laughs> I swear to God. But a couple of my beta testers, we'll just call them sweatpants havers, you know? They had some questions and some like, concerns. Like, how do, how do, I, so how do you want me to look at this born. and not think this shit okay, is like Five Nights at Freddy's? Like, I'm imagining this motherfucker, like, coming up and shit. As you can see, there are five of them. Let me let, let me they let will talk turn for themselves off randomly throughout the night, and it's entirely up to you to keep them turned on. Now to interact with the monitors and turn them on and or off, walk up to them and look at the monitor you want to turn on or off and press E. I'm gonna give you a good 10 or so seconds to mess around and turn them right, on. This is kind of like where I was at. Like I was just messing around with the shits. And I was just thinking like, bro, you you looking at this shit and you tell me like, bro, I'm imagining a motherfucker like put together no, in front of the thinking. image. You're thinking, or some oh motherfucker God, standing Murph, in there. So cool like that so nigga's going boom, he in awesome there, boom. Guy. Like, but oh, why do I'm, we have to keep the monitors son. on? You have to keep the monitors on because throughout the night you were going to be assaulted, yeah, I'm thinking, yeah, this harassed, some real, just really scared in a while. This is going to be all right. Time of it. This shit, oh, At random, please don't tell me this shit going to be crazy. On one of the monitors. Simply press and hold down that button on your keyboard until the monitor reverts back to its normal state. If you don't press the button or if you let go too early and are numbers? not pressing that button, when the monitor reverts back to normal, you will instantly die. I even did the a little QTVs background completely research. I was trying my best to find anything on, that could like more show me more that some frequent. bullshit is happening in this game. All I couldn't right, find let's nothing. See how well you listen. I went on his Twitter. <laughs> I saw how niggas was complaining about do. this game was being either too hard or some shit. Yeah, Why? it's all right. Mistakes happen. Try again. All right, where we where, where we popping I mean, that bitch it's up? Pretty simple, but uh, maybe maybe you look the other way or something. Let's try. I was it one looking more the other time. way. <laughs> Why? Why? Okay, I'm getting a, a little bit concerned about you, huh? but this this is it. This is the one. You got it. All right, three, you, two, two, one, one go. Why? 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 Okay, good job. You did it. I gotta it. hold now, it. I remember. Once again, I know what you're thinking. You're sitting there and you're thinking, Murph, you're so big and strong and handsome. Hey, I what happens up. if I press <laughs> the wrong key? Will I die then? The answer is no, but every time you press the wrong button, paint will be sprayed on your screen like this. What the fuck? You can Yo. use the scroll wheel to wipe off How are you spraying paint, this shit? But I would suggest doing it multiple times as the first time really only smears it around a little bit. Go ahead and use the scroll wheel to wipe off the paint, wait for the animation to stop, and then That's do cool it again, as fuck. I ain't gonna hold you. pretty much fully get all the paint off your screen. And while you do that, I am gonna say that you can only wipe your screen off about six or seven times before you just completely lose the ability to. So use your wipes accordingly. And finally, the alarm bring clocks. Turn wipes. around and you'll see them. There are only three in the tutorial level. There are a lot more <coughs> in the actual game. Now, much like the monitors, they will turn themselves on at random throughout the night. You can try to find which one is active and turn it off. The night shit also really. I was like, bro, as soon as he said night, I was like, nah. <laughs> the alarm clocks are color coded blue, green, red. They're like that for a reason. When an alarm clock is going off, gotta, like, grab this the and bring color it over there. and the time will be different. So if the blue one is currently active, it would be red or green, and the time would be different than the time that's on it now. You can use that to figure out which one is on and turn it off. Go up to the blue alarm clock and press E on it to turn it on. Wait a couple seconds, listen to how it sounds, see how it changes color and changes its time, and then turn it off when you are ready to exit the tutorial. Wait, 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 wait. <clears throat> I ain't hear shit about what I'm supposed to do with these times. But we about to figure it out once we start this motherfucker. Give me one second. Alright, I'm back. <laughs> I just want to say before we even get into this, I just they've been 
We better go through some shit. Well, I'm about to go do some shit. Y'all might enjoy, y'all might not. Kids a fuck. All that matters is trying to get through this shit. <laughs> Hopefully your day's been good. My day's about to go with this shit. Hey, so, bitch. Motherfucker, turn, turn that shit on. Yo, turn these shit Fun on. fact. <laughs> Sleep. <laughs> I was about to Yo, I can't I, I don't I'm telling you These lap Computer screens Laptops Anything that's in front of my Like any screen That's in front of my face Bro, I, it's this close Y'all know the Bro, fuck all that You gonna get back into it We're gonna look at the tutorial. We're gonna come right back. I ain't gonna hold y'all. I ain't learned shit that I ain't know from before. Do you remember that time that my girlfriend at the time tried to make me super, super jealous because I had pissed her off? Which, by the way, we had only been dating like two or three months. I don't think. I will ever have a completely serious relationship because I am a clown baby. You know, like, I value jokes Yo, and having up, a good, funny story over most of my personal relationships. That's what it seems like. <laughs> like, I, Yo, I lost friends over Yo. and lost, like... He was getting it. I ain't seen the letters before. Fuck, 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 fuck. Turn the, turn the monitor on. F. Okay, hear me out. I'm looking for investors. I have an idea. I think it could really hey. go somewhere. You just have to not care about. We not turning that alarm off. Human rights, and I'm pretty sure maybe the Geneva Convention and every streaming terms of service agreement. You just have to not care about that. So the idea is YouTuber Battle Royale. What we're gonna do is we're gonna take the top 100 YouTubers once a year, throw them on an island. I was pressing C. I'm getting used to it though. No, you can't be doing this right off the bat, bro. I was looking at stocks the other day, and I'm looking for a nice, juicy, mm, a nice, juicy, volatile stock to put my money into because safe yeah. stocks are boring, right? Like, oh, go ahead, put your money into the S&P 500 and just leave for 30 years and come back rich. That's, That's lame. Or, or you can put your money in a stock that fluctuates. That's a you? I'm thinking they put in, like, the C's and... Oh, okay. That's a motherfucker. That's a motherfucker like I've seen one. God, I Jay. need to stop being lazy. Hmm. Yeah, I ain't even anyway, I was showering about 10 minutes ago. Or I got out of the shower about 10 minutes ago. Yeah, that's right. I was moist. I was moist and wet. Back the fuck moist. up, bro. I'm sick all over my I had a question shit. pop into my head while I showered. Now, I keep my head fully shaved, like down to the skin, baldo a mode, fully shaved, right? And I had... What letter is that? If that is not a U, no U should be curved like these. You understand that shit? How the fuck am I going to tell the difference? You turn all... Turn it on, please. So I meet hey. a lot of people that that I end up being like, yeah, I want to kill Me. this person, right? I feel like what? that's natural. No, it's kill not. Like thirty percent of the people you meet. Uh, but. What, what kind of gets me is See? I'll meet someone I'll be like I want to kill him, but then my brain will go like, do it with a rock. And so I have met a lot of people that I want to kill specifically with a rock. <laughs> why with the rock? I don't know why. 
The rock is a thing. I don't know why. You telling me that's not if that letter is not C or it's not you, what else what other letter could it be? I wanna know. Bro, that's bullshit. Speaking of the internet and how terrible it is, did you hear Google has a phone plan? No. It's like Google uh, Fi or whatever. I just, I Google laugh Fire? at the idea that, can't be for real. that someone was in a boardroom at Google and being like, yeah, yeah, yeah tell me value I mean, their Kindle, privacy. Kindle Fire, whatever yeah, it yeah. <laughs> it's like any tech company, any search engine, anything like that, all that shit, none of them value your privacy at all. You're so I think I figured out what the backward C is. And I think it's supposed to be an O. I think. We're going to see it. God, I need to stop being lazy. Hmm. Anyway, I was showering about 10 minutes ago. That or I got out of the shit. shower about 10 minutes ago. Yeah, that's right. I was moist. I was moist and wet and moist. And I had a question pop into my head while I showered. Now, I keep my head... All right, so y'all see me. I'm closer to the closer to the the, the 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 face cam now. So that means I'm closer to my screen. Do you do you remember when I realized that I wasn't? I don't like, remember you that all. Normal person, because that that is honestly it's hilarious to me. I need the mouse that like right for here. a while. I thought I was just a normal. person. I need person. to move it. <laughs> like, I, Give me a letter. Like there's clearly something wrong with. <laughs> do you remember that? I think I was like. 17 go to bed. i was watching a bunch of random ass youtube videos that were getting shit, recommended like, on, to me bro. it was like i was like 3 a.m totally alone you know and uh i was watching a video and the guy mentioned he's like yeah because like typically if you're into making people feel uncomfortable and you find that funny you know so you, i'm not gonna say weird. that you're like just... something's wrong with you but something's definitely wrong with you because most people just want everyone around them to be you know comfortable and have a good time and i was sitting there like Shit. Hmm. Really? On God? People be like that? Because Don't my do that entire again. sense of humor for pretty much the entire time until get like I one was chance like for 18, that. 19 was making people uncomfortable. Because I just, I find that so hilarious. You know, like it's just, it's just way too funny to me to make people feel slightly, I'm not talking about like really uncomfortable because that's kind of a dick move. I'm talking about just a little bit uncomfortable. Like, just say things a little differently to where people were like, uh, <laughs> stuff like that. Like, I thought that was normal. And then I was like, why aren't all my friends doing this? You know, this is hilarious. <laughs> I really don't have to turn the alarms <laughs> off, but I want to just for y'all. <laughs> and just thinking, thinking back on it, I don't even think, honestly, I probably didn't even have any friends <laughs> because I just making everyone uncomfortable. I bet everyone thought I was just a. I don't want to. I don't know why, but that lot just like it just tells me that you didn't have friends at that time. No, like, I, I can almost guarantee I had I no actual friends just because I'm sure everyone was just Something like, yeah, that, no, that guy, fuck that guy, he's fucking weird. He's fucking weird. He keeps asking dudes if they want to kiss, and then when they say yeah, he calls them gay. Like, which granted is a thing I did. I'd be like, hey dude, what's up? You want to kiss? He'd be like, yeah, sure. I'd be like, what are you gay? <laughs> Life means nothing. That, that, that and like technically, I'm engaged to like four guys because I just uh, back when I was younger, I would just randomly propose to men and. Uh, some of them actually agreed, and they're like, "Oh my God, yes, I'll marry you." And then, and now, so technically, I'm like a cheating whore. So, um, I'm sorry. <laughs> Wait, so are you gay or not? <laughs> I cannot believe I thought I, I was a normal person. Like, bro, I slept in my jeans, like fully clothed, wearing shoes, literally like curled up in the corner of a room until I was like. You're nervous, bro. I'm holding in a fourth right now. I ain't even stopped sleeping in jeans. I just did. I just moved away from the corner. <laughs> I did a arguably more weird thing where I sleep right now. Right. So you have the door to my room, which leads out into like the kitchen and shit like that. But. 
but between the door to my room and the bathroom, there's a tiny wall, like space of wall, and I sleep against Come that on. wall, which means it, it, if I want to sleep, then I, I thought I was pressing Z and I press X. Alright, I'm going to describe a type of person to you, and I want yeah. you to try to guess ahead of time what it is. I got like two points here, right? Let's try and do that. They post a lot on Twitter. They okay. usually have a lot of art on their Twitter of anthropomorphic animals. Sonic Fox. And they get bullied a lot on Twitter because of that. Uh, he, not, he don't get bullied. And they... They have just a little bit too Is that even much an money. Just a suspicious amount, a, a non-tax-paying citizen amount of money. I don't know now anybody else thinking, who into that shit. Oh, this is their furries, clearly. Uh, am I talking about furries or am I talking about those NFT people? Hmm. That could who be talking knows. about either. Because let's be real, they're. On surface level, they're very similar. They both have a lot of money. They both got a lot of animal art. But they're all the arts questionably. <laughs> it's like questionable at best, you know. It's either a shitty lion or like something getting bored. <laughs> it's always questionable. I would say the only differences between NFT people and furry people are uh, is furry people have talent. Like they make fur suits. They do something to make the money to pay for commissions or they draw all the animals themselves so like that they actually have talent where nft man is just like make pixel make money launder money <laughs> i think it's rare by the way to see the internet pretty much seemingly as a whole come together to just absolutely I can hold you. this whole community. concept is good as i have fun. i've been yeah. on the internet you deserve all the fucking recognition my entire you life and i have yet to see such widespread hatred of something like everyone hates nfts you either hate them Ugh. to the ends of the earth or you're for them because you like don't That's like facts. taxes i'm definitely not with or it. something like that whatever those weird nft people are for because they can't be in it for the art because they all look Never shit once. and yes because how about just dog shit and terrible every single nft i've ever seen looks I've I've thought about making some like monkeys or something and trying to just I guess sell them. Would that be scamming? I don't think it would be scamming NFT people because they get the image, you know. <laughs> it would just be a heartless image. No heart went into it. But then again, I don't think any heart went into the original NFT, so who fucking knows anymore? <laughs> By the way, any any NFT people, if you're listening to this and you're mad at me, you can contact me and you can give me $40,000 and I will I mean, if you want 180 give me my stance on NFTs. You can Same. absolutely <laughs> buy me. Same, if nigga. you give me $40,000, I will love NFTs and I'll be like, go NFTs for about Facts. an hour and a half. And then uh, my soul will be like, tell you the, all the other details, and then I'll go back to hating them. So. I'd be Forty thousand an hour. It's not. It's not too much for people like that who are dropping millions on pictures of monkeys. You know, I'm I feel like they can afford it, right? Like that's paid, a fair bro. trade. Slide. Slide that shit. <laughs> but one thing I do love is that the people who tote NFTs are like, "What? It's a great way for artists to get paid." And yes, some artists are getting paid, but a lot of them are getting screwed over. Because now I'm sure every artist on the planet is just getting commissions for monkeys. Like, can you make can you make the monkey picture? Yeah, like that, like all the NFTs. And then they pay him sixty bucks, and then that person goes on to sell that for like a hundred thousand dollars. So they're still getting screwed over. <laughs> yeah, bro. So you should probably understand a little bit why the entire world hates the nft community as a whole it seems like just a very advanced way to launder money and steal art oh no oh no if if more art goes digital there's gonna be less cool art heists no 
No, that's terrible. Art heists and bank heists, I don't care if it's a crime. They're cool. Art heists are even better. They're dope. You can't have those disappearing. Those are amazing. You're just gonna be like, I've been hacked or my monkey's gone. <laughs> that's it. That's, how are they gonna make that into a movie, you know? <laughs> I imagine getting hacked like that hits a different though. Because, you know, someone can hack, you know, like your bank account and all that and just steal all the money that was in it. But imagine someone just hacks your, your art. They're just like, I own it now, dickhead. It's just, <laughs> imagine just waking up and being like, where's my Mona Lisa? Where is it? It's gone? Some kid in Russia finessed the shit out of my Mona Lisa while I was sleeping? Oh, lovely. Okay. <laughs> some fucking... Some 13-year-old in Russia right now is, like, trying to brute force hack into some guy's bored ape account to steal all his monkeys. <laughs> no, he's... You know, he's sitting there like, No, Mom, trust me, the monkeys are worth a lot of money. That's why I'm taking them. <laughs> trying to explain NFTs to his mom. <laughs> Alright, I don't have anything else funny to say about NFTs, so I'm gonna move on to a short story, I guess, because I think I don't... I think I have a little bit of time. I think I have enough time for a short story. When I was younger, me and a buddy would do a bunch of stuff from Jackass. You know, like the TV show, the movies, all that good stuff. And one of the things we would do is, we set up a camera, obviously we filmed all of this, and... I would tie him to a chair, and every 30 seconds I would tase him until he got out. Now, he, now I want to I, I want to point this out. He came up with the idea. He's like, "Yeah, you'll tie me, you'll tase me. Uh, once I get out, I'll have a turn to tie you, and then I'll tase you." And I was like, "Yeah, seems fair, seems fun, you know." Um, because believe it or not, tasers aren't that powerful. They don't. They like make your muscles spasm. They don't really like hurt. So. I was like, alright, deal, done. So we set up the camera. I tied him to a chair pretty, pretty crappily because I was, I want to say, 14 at the time. Didn't say I, I wasn't quite into bondage at the time, you know, and I didn't know, I didn't know Shibari very well. Uh, so I tied him up. He got out in probably about two minutes, which is pretty good because there's a lot of, like, 18 knots in a row. And then he, he managed to get out. He's like, alright, go, my turn. Now, what I, I'm going to tell you now is, this, this little, little ass didn't tell me that he must have been like a boy scout or something. Because I sat in that chair and he started busting out like fancy over like knots, overhand knots. He secured my ass to the chair. I wasn't going anywhere, right? Not a chance. So <laughs> I was sitting there tied to the chair and he just starts tasing me. He's like, every 30 seconds, zap, zap, zap. And it was... <laughs> I, I just got to the point where I gave up. And he was like, no, you got to get out. Taze. Taze. So I had to, like, struggle, force my way out of it, essentially by breaking the handle of the chair. I was tied up and getting tased about every 30 seconds for, I want to say it was 27 to 28 minutes. And I... I didn't realize until after that I think he just wanted to torture me, you know? <laughs> he didn't like tell me he knew knots. He wasn't like, hey, by the way, you're at a massive disadvantage here. He was just like, well, no, I know about as much as you do. <laughs> I'm not playing this shit so over again. I swear to you. Uh, he's, that guy's probably a serial killer thinking about it. He definitely is, like, torturing women in a minivan right now. Off of, like, a highway somewhere. <laughs> anyway, my, my time's coming to an end. It's not turning on. God, fuck. I give up. We not playing this shit. I'm gonna be here all night. You saw how long that last one was, bro? Like, I don't know how when that shit was gonna end. Good morning. Sheesh. That shit was a long ass time. God damn. But. Damn, I wish I could see the end, but. I don't got enough time. Like I said, I got work and shit. And this video already going to take a long time because of blah, blah, all that added and shit, whatever. So, hope you enjoyed this video. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you know what I'm saying. Like the video only if you like the video. 
subscribe if you want to see more share it, you know do all that kind of stuff you know let's get up here um yeah um let me know in the comments what y'all thought all y'all stuff you know what i'm saying tell me how your day's been that being said you know y'all take care